Today, we are playing with Remnant Violet. He is on a lifesteal pen set. He is a little squishy, but we'll just have to rely on his evasion and the Violet Talisman to keep us alive. Let's go. Now, I'm really not pumped about this matchup because there is a Bellion here, and I'm really sick of fighting Bellion, especially with an A-Ravi because there is so much injury on that team. But I'm not super worried about it because I have an ML Selene here. So we're going to push up the ML Selene because I want her to get her S3 out. Because the ML Selene's job here is to take care of the A-Ravi. So pretty much nobody else has to worry about the A-Ravi. Now I'm not afraid of the Bellion or the Lilius because they are going to hit into my Rylet. Therefore, it's going to hopefully miss the Rylet and it will help him get stacks and it'll help him kill, right? Give me the Dust Devil. No Dust Devil. That, uh, that kind of sucks, but that should be fine, right? We should be able to take care of the A-Ravi with the Violet, actually. Unless he gets provoked here, which of course he did. He got hit. That's that's totally cool, right? That's cool. But since my Amelia is fast enough, we're going to S3 here. This should cleanse both debuffs, I think, off of the Rylet. I'm pretty sure. There we go. He has no stacks so far. He still has no stacks, and he still has no stacks. Now it's S3 into this guy. Can we kill? Okay, that's a kill. So that should heal up a pretty good amount, right? I think we should be pretty safe here because I doubt the Bellion is really that strong. Now we're going to push up the Violet so that he can move quicker because I need him to move so he can even so he can heal. Oh my god, dude. Wow. He has not evaded anything so far. Like, that is kind of blowing my mind. Like at the beginning, he didn't evade because uh, I'm on Violet Talisman. Therefore, he doesn't really get the evasion until the until he uh, whatever he moves, then he gets evasion. He finally evaded something though. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's take care of this Bellion here because she is just murdering my Violet, Rylet, whatever. Oh my God, this is uh, so far not the greatest showcase, but it kind of just shows you how amazing he is. Maybe I shouldn't have taken him into the Lilius either. That was probably a bad idea. By the way, if you're enjoying this and you're not subscribed, why not hit that button? It really mean a lot to me. Now, this fight is pretty much as basic as they come, right? We're going to S3 here, then we're going to S3, then we're going to S3. And it should be a pretty easy win. Holy crap, we're dead. Very unfortunate. Let's give Riley another shot here. I brought him with a Dian and a Hassel to help keep him alive because my Hassel is insanely tanky and on Arius. And then we got the anti crit from the Dian as well as the, you know, the little tiny heals. So hopefully this Bellion misses. Yeah. So then he can get some. Are you serious, Rylet? Are you serious? Like, I know I'm not on Moonlight Dreamblade, so there is only 50% to dodge, but still, dude. Like, come on, man. And he crits and wins the 50-50. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. We're going to S3 with the Hassel here so we can get the counters from everybody. She hits she hits Rylet as well. That's fine. He crits as well. That is also fine. Holy crap. Let's just S1 into her. No reason at all, right? Oh, we got the dual attack, which is pretty nice. It gives him the focus and a little bit of heal. We're going to hit into the Violet with the Hassel so that we can get the extra damage and uh, the push as well. Can you... Okay, we got the counter at least. Dude, hit that Violet. Thank you. RNG finally decides to swig my way, dude. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Jeez, that could have been really bad, right? That could have ended up pretty freaking bad. Wow, she actually missed everybody because she was blind. That's a first. That's definitely a first. Let's keep hitting into this uh, Bellion here. I wonder if she's on a counter set. I doubt it. Then again, you never know because she's not on a... Uh, let's hit the FCC, actually. We'll go ahead to the FCC because the Bellion has a defense buff. So I don't really want to hit into her. But she's not on uh, an injury set, right? So she could be on a counter, but she's on Elbris for sure. And she hit Violet. Okay, that's fine. Gonna hit in the FCC here. Okay, counters again. That's gonna keep pushing up and stacking my Hassel, dude. Hassel's such a beast. Um, I think she is probably the coolest ones of the th new uh, three-star heroes. But that's just my opinion, right? I haven't actually used the other ones because looking at their kits, they just don't look very fun compared to Hassel. So let's keep working on this FCC instead, actually, because there's a better chance of her just countering with the Elbrus, right? Because I'm not sure if she's on a counter set or not. So every time she counters, it, there's a chance I can get stacks for uh, Hassel. Well, actually, Hassel's probably fully stacked already, but uh, she has a chance of missing Violet, which then gives them focus. But even if she uh, counters, it'll still push my Hassel 30%. So there we go. That was a uh, miss. For a hit, I don't even know. Wasn't paying attention. But we killed the FCC here with the Massacre proc. So there's really no way this uh, Bellion can kill everybody, right? I would be insanely surprised, especially since she is not on an injury set. So I'm always going to be able to heal up because everybody here heals, right? Hassel heals. She heals over 3k per hit. And the Violet is on lifesteal. And the Deanne, well, she's a freaking healer. So she's definitely not dying, right? Yeah, there we go. We got dual attack and oh, not enough, but this should finish her off right here. There we go. He actually worked this time. So this fight should be interesting. I'm relying on Luna to pretty much kill the ML Ken and kill the Charlotte. 
both just one tap both of them dude that is pretty much my only chance of winning this i wasn't able to strip the charlotte or the ml Ken. are you kidding me and i landed everything on the ruel i'm not sure if this uh charlotte and ml Ken are insanely resistant or if i'm getting 15 percent well ml Ken usually is built resistance but you know whatever can we kill we got a kill there we're gonna soul burn can we kill this there we go. But that actually uh, worked out, right? Luna's such a beast, dude. She just kills everybody. She does not give a crap. We're gonna soul burn, kill her, we're done. Easy. I had to put a lot of trust into my Lilias for this because I have to outspeed this AOL. Because if I don't outspeed AOL, she is going to strip my Violet. My Rylet. My bad. Rylet. So then he's not gonna have the evasion. I'll be screwed. But still, this is not guaranteed because I have to get the redirect and provoke on her or push her back. Please. There we go. That is perfect. This is going to be some decent damage to my Lilius. Now, if you look at my team here, it's not the greatest team, right? I got a Rylet, Lilius, and a Fat Cat against two Violets and an AOL. Now, we're going to try to take out this AOL as fast as we can because she's the person who is going to strip my Rylet. Of course, now she's dead. That was just like one tap, one and done, dude. Easy. Let's bust out the Fat Cat here. S3 on this Rylet. Can we hit? We actually hit with the Fat Cat, dude. And we get the defense break and the stun. That is pretty good. Sadly, you know, Fat Cat doesn't strip. It'd actually be really awesome if he stripped. They should buff Fat Cat. Give him a strip, please. So, of course, I brought Fat Cat here for the X-ray evasion, which, wow, this... This Rylet has really bad RNG. I'm really sorry for him. But now the problem is we gotta somehow take out this guy, right? This Violet probably has much better RNG than that Rylet did, right? So we, but we have no choice. We have to keep going into him because there's no other targets. Hey, come on, dude, I have... Oh my god, okay, fine. Come on, you're probably gonna mess. There we go. You hit, though. Thank you, Rylet. However, he has the attack down, which I'm not a big fan of. Lilius is... Did he miss? Oh, he's blinded. Okay, so... How much health does my Lilius have, dude? <laughs> my Lilius has 2 HP. Let's soul burn this and get the redirect to provoke on him. Um, even if Lilius dies, the redirect to provoke stays, and then he'll hit into the fat cat, right? Dude, this Violet has pretty good accuracy. The bad part about that is that he had the attack down, so both his hits that he actually hit didn't do a lot of damage, which really freaking sucks, right? Now she's gonna hit him, right? Fat Cat? Well, Fat Cat got a hit, though. Okay, she's gonna counter. My Lilius is somehow alive. He's gonna hit into Fat Cat because Fat Cat is the tankiest one, dude. We're gonna hit a Noom again. Can you get a hit? Oh my god. I am somehow hitting this guy. This team had really bad RNG, but you know what? I deserve the good RNG. There we go. <laughs> we're just going with the exact same plan as we did last time. We're going to snipe both people and then have Angelica use the S3. But I don't have the Vigor from the Lilius this time. Will I kill? She has like 1 HP. Oh my god. This game blows. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for hanging out with us. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Bye.